Dear colleagues, in some cases, the cataract is so soft that the entire lens material can be aspirated without emulsification. This is one such case. You can see there is a very thin layer of posterior subcapsular opacity. The rest of the lens is clear. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us see how it is being done. The main incision has been made. One side port on the right side of the main incision and another side port on the left side of the main incision. Viscoelastic substance, if we apply over the corneal epithelium, there is protection of corneal epithelium as well as it improves visibility. So here is HPMC over the corneal epithelium. Now capsular axis, 26 gauge bent needle is introduced through the right side port. The capsule is incised and the capsular tag is raised. A uterata forceps is taken, a capsular excess forceps is taken. This is from INOR, which is no more. This capsular excess forceps, INOR used to make very beautiful, very thin capsular excess forceps, and it is still working. Here at around 7 o'clock, the rexis tended to go to periphery and I, I could easily retrieve it. So the rexis is done. Now this is a very important step in hydro dissection. If we inject a lot of fluid, the entire thing will come into the entry chamber. But I don't want that. I'll inject a little bit of fluid and as the fluid wave goes towards the opposite side, here it is, as the fluid wave goes to the opposite equator and near the equator, I'll stop. So little bit of fluid is injected just to separate the nucleus from the posterior capsule. Now the phaco tip is introduced, bevel down and only vacuum is applied, only aspiration. That is position 2, vacuum being applied is 400, no phaco energy, flow rate is 40. And towards the end, as the material comes, the bevel is made up, initially bevel down. With bevel down, most of the lens matter is taken out and the last portion when it comes to the phaco tip the bevel is made up that is towards the corneal endothelium that's it the soft very soft nucleus is aspirated without using any phaco without using any ultrasonic energy this is what we call phaco aspiration phacos means lens Aspiration means to remove by vacuum. Now the cortical lens matter is being removed. A Simco cannula, 23 gauge Simco cannula is being used. That's it. The little bit of cortex is still there at around 12 30 o'clock I could remove it through the main incision itself some fibrous tissue kind of thing is sticking to the posterior capsule the patient is young 35 years old anyway he is going to need Yak laser capsulotomy in the coming three four months. So I need not 
use lot of polishing. Now, the viscoelastic substance that has been used for implanting the lens is being removed. Irrigation and aspiration is being carried out simultaneously by this very simple Simcoe cannula. Now here it is the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. The irrigating probe goes into the capsular bag behind the lens and the bag is thoroughly irrigated. Now irrigation and aspiration are used together. Thorough cleaning of viscoelastic substance is thus done. That's it. The case is done. This is phaco aspiration. So the tip that um, I've shared is do a very little amount of hydrodissection. Let the fluid wave goes near the opposite equator. Let it not cross the equator. Let the fluid wave don't let it come into the entry chamber. It may so happen that the entire thing can come into the entry chamber. Let it not come. Just do little amount of hydrodissection. Then go with bevel down the phaco teeth and just start be in position two. That is an irrigation and aspiration mode. Remove most of the lens matter in bevel down position and when you come towards the end then remove the rest in bevel up position. That's it. The case is done. Thank you very much for your attention.